problem 8. The region consisting of all points of three-dimensional space within three units of line segment AB has a volume of 216 pi. What is the length of AB? So three-dimensional space is actually not too bad if you can um, actually just physically like consider what it will look like. Let's say this is AB. It's three-dimensional, so I'm going to draw it at a slant. There is going to be three units. Well, first of all, let's say it's a 2D line. What does it mean to be within three units of it? Well, this is three, that is three, this segment right here is three, and this segment here is three. So in other words, we have this oblong looking shape that is within three units. Now, when you think of within a certain number of units, you should think of circles, right? Because all points on a circle are within the radius units to the center. So basically, we're trying to find a bunch of circles here. Now, let's put this into two parts. Consider this first part, right? It's going to look like a cylinder, like this, right? Where this line right here is going to represent the the center of all the of the, all the 2D circles within the cylinder connected together. So what is the volume of this cylinder first of all? Well the volume of cylinders is equal to pi r squared h. So what is the radius? Well the radius is 3 because it has to be within 3 units, right? And what is the height? Well the height is just the length of AB. Now, well, we have the volume here. Now, what else do we know? We also know that if we were to look at the side, at the side of this shape, right, it's going to look like this, right? In three dimensional, this is 3D. But if we were to look at it at a slant, we realize that it's going to be like a, like a, um, a, a semi, a semi sphere, right? It's going to look like this weird looking shape. It's a semi sphere. And we know that if we combine these two spheres together at the ends, right, this sphere and this sphere, then it's going to create an entire, um, an entire sphere. So what is the volume of an entire sphere? Well, that's 4 over 3 pi, uh, 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So that means this has to be equal to 4 over 3 times pi times the radius, which is 3 cubed, which is uh, 3 squared times 4, 9 times 4, which is 36 pi. So in essence, 36 pi plus this volume is equal to 216 pi. And now we can solve for AB, right? Because we have, we know that 36 pi plus pi plus 9 pi AB, right, is equal to 216 pi. The pi, pi, and pi gets eliminated, and then we subtract 36 on both sides, 9 AB is equal to 0, 8, 1, 180, therefore AB divided by 9 is equal to 20. So your final answer will be answer choice D.